happening. It's happening. Thrift stores have reopened. Guys, we made it. Three months and we made it. Hi, my name is Jill. I'm a full-time reseller of fashion on Poshmark and Mercari. And it's been a big week for us. Um, our uh, stores are in the phase one of reopening, which means no more online sourcing back to good old sourcing in person. Um, in Seattle, our Goodwills haven't actually opened yet. It is only the um, our buy, sell, trade, and consignment stores. So today I have a very large haul from Crossroads Trading, from Buffalo Exchange, and um, one piece from Plato's Closet. I'm so excited. This, uh, uh, I'm just beaming. So excited to show you guys. I just want to start off with saying I was very impressed with um, all three stores and how well they um, are putting safety measures into effect. So uh, essentially, there's a limited amount of people in the stores, you have to wear a mask, they provide sanitation areas, you have to keep six feet apart from any other shoppers, you can't try on things, I think that there's an extended return policy as well. So when I was in these stores, I felt totally safe. Um, the one thing to mention though was somehow in my mind I thought that as soon as these stores open back up there's going to be like a whole new store of inventory and the truth of the matter is is I saw about 75 to 80 percent of the same stuff um, because I went sourcing a couple times right before we closed down um, in mid-March so my expectations um, were not exceeded or even met, but I still had a really fun time um, just getting out back in my element and um, yeah. So anyways, let's get right into it. Okay, so up first, these are a find from Crossroads Trading. These are pretty much brand new Doc Martens um, platform hiking boots. These I paid 65 for, and they are the Leota, or the Leona boots, boots. They are the Leona boots, and these are still um, selling online. The um, current going price, I believe, is like 170 to 200, but all of the comps that I looked up are pretty close to the full retail price. So I think that I'm just gonna go ahead and get these listed at like 165 or 170. Um, so these are Mason Martin Margila 22. These were on consignment at Crossroads and I paid 55 for them. They're so beautiful. So it's Python snakeskin with this really cool caged inner booty. It's like a heel booty hybrid. It's so cool with these chunky heels and um, yeah, I mean, there's like there's a little bit of wear on them, but these probably retail for like six to seven hundred dollars. Um, comps right now that I'm seeing for these are uh, about two seventy five to five hundred. Um, they do have a little bit of wear, as you can see, like in the soles. So I think that I'm just gonna go ahead and get these listed at like two fifty or so and see how they do. Um, and if they sit for too long, then I might just go ahead and send them in to thread up for consignment because ThreadUp has been doing, I've been having pretty good luck with selling on ThreadUp with the items that I sent in about a month or two ago, so very cute. Next is this pair of Mista, it's kind of crossed out, Mista London, and these are brand new, they've never been worn, um, and they're just a really cute metallic woven slide sandal. Um, these retailed for about 300 and since they are new, they are a tough size. I think that they're a size, they're a size five. So it's kind of on, it's one of the, sm it's the smallest size essentially. So it's going to be hard to find a buyer for these, but um, I think I only paid $11 for them. They were half off at Crossroads and um, yeah, maybe I'll, I'll start listing them at like 125, 150 or so. Gosh, you can just, like a modern day bride shoe. So cute. These are Saison. 
And this is the Mikel Loafer. Um, they're a size 8, which is an excellent size. They retailed for about $150, but because they are such an in-demand size and um, Saison can sometimes sell well above its original retail price just because there are die-hard fans of, of this designer. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get these listed um, probably at $170, $175. Maybe 150. They're a little bit worn inside, but anyways, I paid. These were listed at Crossroads for $75, um, but they were half off. So then it came to I think about like $37 or so, which is a great profit margin. So these were also from Crossroads. Um, let's see. So this is uh, Free People by Free People Vegan. And they're these really cute, super lightweight um, foam sole uh, cow, it, I mean, it, it's vegan, so it's not real, but kind of a cow print, cow hide, calf fur feeling hiker boot. Um, and so these online, they retailed for 150. Um, these are brand new. It looked like they had a tag from like TJ Maxx or Marshalls on them, but, um, it's not a saturated style. I mean, I looked at comps and I didn't find very many on Poshmark. So I think I'll feel comfortable listing these at like 85 to 100. Um, most of the items that I source in buy, sell, trade stores because they are, um, cause it's a higher cost of good. I tend to only look for items that I, that I know will be able to sell for like at least 75 to a hundred dollars. Um, I have one item from Plato's Closet. Um, I didn't find anything too great when I went there, but they are having a half off sale. I think that they're trying to clear out um, the store for new inventory. And I saw these mules. I didn't find anything else there, but these were one of the first things I saw in the store. And they're these really cool crushed velvet heels with like this cylinder block heel. And it's pretty worn on the inside. I couldn't see what the designer said, but then I finally made it out. And these are Rachel Comey's. If you don't know who Rachel Comey is, she puts out very beautiful, expensive pieces for the, for the cool girl. And um, these retailed for $500. Um, there is one comp right now on Poshmark, which is listed at 255. And um, these were half off and they were originally priced at six dollars so i paid a whopping three dollars for these rachel comey crushed velvet mules which i hope to sell for i'll probably list them at um maybe like 200 i'll list them at 200 because they are pretty worn i mean you can't really see i tried using gugon on here and so the inside soles aren't in great shape but i mean the outside looks great so um, yeah, I'll probably list these at 175 to 200. Um, next up is probably my favorite find. These are a pair of Jensen Steel Toe boots by Acne Studios, and they were on sale. So they were originally listed at um, 85, and they were listed at 25% off. So I think I paid about $60 or so, which sounds like a lot, but. These retailed for over $600. Um, they have been resold, so they're in pretty great condition. The top parts look, the top of the shoe looks great. Look at that detail on the back, Acne Studios. Comps are kind of all over the place with these because these are in pretty excellent condition. There's just like a little bit of rusting on the steel toe part, but these are in pretty great condition, so I'm probably gonna list these at like 275 to 300 and see how they do. Um, and if I don't sell them on that, then I will send them in to thread up. But these, I was so excited to find and I can't believe that they were on sale. Okay, so let's get into the clothing haul. This skirt is from Crossroads. I'm gonna have to take this off. Um, this is by a designer called Maj, or Maj. Um, and this is a beautiful, 100% authentic ostrich feather skirt. Um, I paid $22.50 for it at Crossroads. And looking online, it retailed for um, about $500 or so. So it's 
full silk, and then ostrich feathers. So I will probably list this, I'm not sure, maybe like 100 to like 150 and see how it does. And if it doesn't get much attention on Poshmark, then um, I'll just send it into thread up. So, cute. This is a new with tags um, skirt by the Koobles. So it is new with tags. So this retailed for $230. And it's this really cute black denim high waist um, skirt with this really cool western buckle. It's so cute, it's so 90s inspired. And it's a size small. Um, I only saw uh, two comps for this on um, Poshmark and they were both really low. But though, neither of those were new with tags and those were sold a while ago. So I'm, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and um, Go with my gut feeling and list it at 100 to 135 because it's so cute. This is a brand that sold on Revolve. Um, so yeah, I think it's very cute. I know Coachella is canceled for uh, 2020, but I think it'll still sell. Next is a designer. I gotta zip up the fly. Um, next is a designer that I've never seen or heard of before, but when I saw the quality of the jeans, I knew that it was um, really well made. Um, but this is by Sophie Dior. Sophie Dior. I don't think that's <laughs> Sophie Dior. I'm gonna say Sophie Dior. Um, and these I paid 28 for. Um, this again is also just a small independent designer. Um, who was sold like on Garmentory and the like. Um, and these retailed for about $4.50. Um, unfortunately, I couldn't find any comps on Poshmark and I don't think that it has much of a following, but I still just went ahead and picked it up. And uh, yeah, I hope it does well. I'm just gonna go ahead and price them at like 175 to 200 and, and hope that there's a fan of this designer who stumbles upon them and wants to buy them. <laughs> Um, but anyways, yeah, they're just really well-made, um, like raw denim jeans. And I don't like buying jeans, but I made an exception for these. Um, so the crossroads that I went to, and I think actually all of them are doing this, they have a special 75% off rack. And on that rack I found this. It's a, a faux leather Armani Exchange Moto Sherling uh, vest. And it's in excellent condition. Um, it was originally priced at $32.50, but after 75% off, I think that that was about $7 or $8. Um, yeah, and it's in great condition. I've never picked up this brand before, so I don't know how well it's going to do, but um, I think I feel good about listing it at around $50 to $60. I saw some similar comps. Um, so yeah, $50, $50 to $60. This was a pretty incredible find for being on the 75% off rack. It is Red Valentino. And this was originally listed at 55, but with 75% off, I think that was like $15, 13 to $15. Um, and it is this absolutely beautiful tan and uh, fuchsia striped wool coat. Um, this retailed, I looked it up online, this retailed for $1,000. And there are comps that are uh, listed at about $300 to $400 for the same piece. So um, this, I mean, I, I might just try listing right now, even though it's not the season for it, um, and see how it does. Um, but I think that I'm going to try to send in most of my higher price items to thread up just because um, I don't have to do any of the listing. Um, anything over $200 on ThreadUp, you get 80% payout, which is essentially what you would make on Poshmark, but there's a bigger audience to see those items on ThreadUp. Um, so anyways, um, I will probably send this into ThreadUp in the fall. Um, this is a blank NYC suede maroon purple moto jacket. Um, I paid $24 for this and it's in pretty good shape. I mean, it's a little bit worn, but the same one is still selling online for 200. Um, it's listed on Nordstrom, Shop Up, Revolve, um, and similar comps are kind of all over the place. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and start listing this at 100 and see how it does, because it's real suede. 
and it's beautiful. Next is this ATM kind of bleach tie-dye crew neck sweatshirt and this really, I don't know, this is kind of like the, the new hottest color. It's like this mauve purple gray. Um, and I paid $16.50 for this. Um, looking it up online, I saw that it retailed for about $200 to $250 on Nordstrom. Um, and this is just really cool. It's very like Yeezy, Aritzia. Um, yeah, sweats are having a big moment right now. So this I will probably list at like 85 to 100. Um, it's a size small and it's in excellent condition. And I've seen other comps like new with tags on Poshmark that are about uh, 150. So I feel comfortable listing this at like 85 to 100. Might keep it for myself. But um, this is my first time finding this. Um, it's not my style at all, but I know that it's very popular within the Poshmark community. Um, and so I thought I'll give it a try. Um, this is Wild Fox and this is the white label. Um, it's new with tags and it's this Tokyo Love knit sweater. Um, I paid 24 for it and it looked like it retailed for about 150. Um, and comps are looking to be over 100, so I am going to go ahead and get this listed at 100. Um, again, it's not my style, but um, I just wanted to branch out and try to experiment with new designers that seem to be popular. So, um, yeah. Here's another one that's not my style, but I know that there's people who love this designer, and so I went ahead and picked it up. It is Lily Pulitzer. It is new with tags. Um, this is the Elsa Silk um, Long Sleeve Peasant Blouse. Um, it's really cute, it's got smocking up here. Super lightweight, perfect for summer. Um, and this retailed for $160. I didn't see any comps on Poshmark. I think that I have the only one, I think this is a, this is a popular style, the Elsa shirt, but um, this print I couldn't find on Poshmark. So. Um, I went ahead and listed this at $125. Um, I like to start high with my prices and then if it doesn't get any bites, then I will relist at a lower price because I don't mind sitting for the right buyer. So anyways, uh, about $100, $125 for this and I paid $24 at Crossroads Trading. Next is Veronica Beard. I paid $24 for this top. It's a really cute silk top with like this ladder embroidery detail, bib, keyhole back. Uh, this top retailed for $425, which is insane. <laughs> um, and I went ahead and listed this close to uh, the fellow comps on Poshmark. So I went ahead and listed this at $135. Um, we'll see how it does. Veronica Beard does really well for me. It's a quick seller. Um, yeah. Next up is a brand that uh, is my first time picking up and I couldn't even read the label. I thought it said Queen, <laughs> but it's Doosan, Doosan, Doosan. And I paid 28 for this. And this is a linen utility work dress with side smocking. Um, it's in pretty good condition. Uh, it probably retailed for like 200 or so. Um, so I think that I'm going to go ahead and list this at maybe 185 to 100. I didn't do my research on comps when I was shopping just because I was so thrilled with um, being back in the game of thrifting. <laughs> so I didn't do a great job of, of researching comps and whatnot. And so I thought that Deuce and Deuce and was a really hot seller. I think it has more of like a small cult following because um, it is still kind of a small designer. So. Uh, yeah, this retailed at 200. I will probably go ahead and get it listed at 100 and see how it does and lower the price and relist from there if it doesn't do well at that price point. The so next is this Tory Burch. I paid 22.50 for it at Crossroads Trading. It's just a really cute. Um, I think it's, I think the style is called Poplin and it's a pullover uh, geometric checkered dress with pockets, a waist tie. Um, full zippered back and this retailed for probably like 350 or so 300 um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this listed at probably like 125 on Poshmark 
I didn't see any active comps. Um, so yeah, I'll probably list it at 125 to 135 on Poshmark. If it doesn't do well, then I think I'll send it into ThreadUp because I think Tory Burch does pretty well on ThreadUp. So next is this really cute um, long sleeve Zara dress with this uh, bow tie up in front. It's just a cute little mini dress. This is new with tags, it's a size large. It retailed for $70. I got it half off at Crossroads for $10. Um, and yeah, I think I'll probably get this listed at like 45 or 50. I just, I'm gonna, I'm, maybe I'll keep it for myself. I don't know, it's just so cute and I love the style of it. So Zara new with tags, I will pick up. Next is this silk Marc Jacobs halter dress. It's definitely an older style. Um, and here's the tag. Here's the tag. Um, but I paid, it was half off, so I paid $14 for it. Um, there are a few comps on Poshmark for this, ranging from about 85 to 150. So I will probably list this at like 125 or so. And if it doesn't get any bites or anything, then I'll just send it into ThreadUp because I have had good luck with selling Marc Jacobs on ThreadUp in the past, so. Now this is another Zara new with tags piece. It's this really pretty satin um, mock neck, long sleeve mini dress. The buttons on there are so cute. Um, with a tie back and a full zip back as well. This is also new with tags. It retailed for 50 and I paid uh, $9 for it. It's listed at um, 18 15 it was half off so I'll probably list that at like 50 so next this was my first time finding this brand this is stone cold Fox and this was priced at 37.50 it was half off so I paid about $18 for it it is new with tags it's new with tags um, and this is the Iowa dress um, it retailed for about $300. It's this really pretty short um, lace off the shoulder overlay dress um, with a structured boned uh, bust. And it's really cute, it's really pretty, very bohemian, very little black dress. Um, but there are quite a bit of comps for this online, anywhere from like 80 to like 150. Um, because this is new with tags, I'm just gonna go ahead and list it at 135, 150 and see how it does. Very cute. Um, next up is another designer that uh, this is my first time finding. This is uh, Tibby, and I paid 28 for this. And this is the Bond stretch knit dress. Um, it's a really pretty rust kind of mock neck mod 60s inspired stretch dress that retailed for about $400. Um, there are a couple of comps on Poshmark, but none in this color, um, which is great because this is a very popular color of the season, this orange rust. Um, so anyways, I'm going to probably start listing this at like 175 to 200 because it is in pretty excellent condition. Um, there's like a tiny bit of wear, but not too much. Um, and if it doesn't sell in a couple months, then I'll just go ahead and send it in to thread up. So next is M.M. Lafleur. Um, and I paid 28 for this. This is the Sarah dress, which is one of their kind of classic, more well-known cuts. It's got like kind of this sharp geometric cap sleeve that kind of reminds me of like the black halo dresses. Um, but anyways, this retailed for 200, but M.M. Lafleur has a great return for resellers. Um, again, um, it has kind of a, a following to it, so um, fans are willing to pay close to retail price. So I found a couple of comps um, on this, but I am gonna go ahead and just list it at uh, probably 100 to 150. I don't know yet. I saw a couple of comps under 100, but none in this size or color. I think this was a limited color. It's called Ivy. Um, so I think I'll list it at 135, which seems to be my favorite number today. Um, so next up is a piece from Aritzia. This is their in-house brand, Wilfred. Um, it's an extra, extra small, which I don't think is accurate because I am an extra large and this would fit me. So um, yeah, I don't think that's accurate. But this was listed 
at $18.50 and it was 75% off, which is probably like five dollars, four or five dollars, which is great. And it's this really cute oversized long sleeve um, smock dress with this, this raw ruffle mock neck and large keyhole back like all the way down um, and it's very cute I'll probably list this at um, be like 35 to 45 or so first time find for me on this designer this is Yumi Kim um, and it's an extra large it's this really cute oversized um, sheer floral print dress with this overall shoulder and back smocking and an open tie front. I paid $22.50 for this and it retailed for $200. It's got all its buttons, that's great. Yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this listed at $100 because there are a few other comps on there that are new with tags that are only like, that are about $150 or so. So I'm gonna keep it competitive and list it at $100 and see how it does. So next is this brand C New York. Um, this is a size large. It is the L puff sleeve floral dress. It retailed for about $400. There are quite a few comps online, but I feel comfortable listing this at about $150. Um, it's really beautiful. It's in great condition. Um, and I only paid uh, $18.50 for it. So, it's so cute. These sleeves are incredible. And then there's like ladder stitch embroidery detailing as well. It's really cute. C New York is a great brand to find. They retail for so much and I'm pretty sure that they resell for a pretty penny as well. So this is another Doosan Doosan dress. It's a really pretty 100% silk geometric shift dress. Um, and I paid 18 for it. Um, but because it's silk, I feel pretty comfortable listing this at over 100. It's really cute. It's really current. Um, and I, I hope that it'll do well. It probably retailed for about 300. Next is this La Vie by Rebecca Taylor, new with tags, smocked metallic striped floral drop waist ruffle hem dress um, with a smocked top as well. It's so cute. I bought this primarily based off a of style because it reminded me so much of Christy Dawn and Dawn, which is one of the biggest sellers on Poshmark right now and like the highest priced items. Um, Anyways, this is kind of new with tags. I mean, it, do you, would you count this as new with tags if it has a tenth of a tag on there? I don't know. Um, but I paid $22.50 for this dress. It retailed for about $300. There are other comps right now that are about $150, $100 to $150. Um, so I'll probably, yeah, I'll probably get this listed at like $115, $100 to $115 or so and see how it does. Um, so next is this Tory Burch long sleeve heavy linen tunic dress. I thought it was a giraffe print at first, but it's not a giraffe print. It's just this really cool mod 60s inspired um, tunic um, that was on the 75% off rack at Crossroads. It was originally listed at $32.50, so I paid about $8 or so for it. Um, I'll probably just send this in to thread up because I think it'll do better in there. It's a size 12, which is a great size, and it's a great deal, so. Next is this dress by Samantha Pleat. Samantha Pleat, I got this from Buffalo Exchange. I paid $20 for it, um, and it's really cute. It retailed, oh, it looks like it's got a little bit of, it's got a little bit of damage that's so gonna need some sewing, but that's this is the wave dress. It's got this really cute scalloped hem and this watercolor brush um, print and this retailed for about $280. Um, there were other comps on Poshmark in a different color that sold for about $100 so I'll probably list it at the same. There's a little bit of repair on the seam that I'm going to have to do some sewing on but that's okay. Um, Samantha Pleat is again like a garmentory um, designer that uh, is kind of lesser known but has a cult following so I hope that this does well. It's a really cute summer dress. Next up is this Millie dress. 
Um, this was also 75% off. So 75% off of 28. seven dollars so this cost me about seven dollars it's a really cute um, cocktail dress geometric cocktail dress um, this probably retailed for I don't know two to three hundred dollars um, I'm just probably gonna send this into thread up though it's just because it's not really my style but it's really cute very 50s 60s inspired with pockets full zip back and a um, defined waistband Um, this is a 100% wool vintage top with this embroidery up on top that I thought was so cool. This just reminded me, and it comes with a belt, and this just reminded me of like stoned immaculate. Like the 70s are making a huge comeback right now, and I thought this fits the bill. Um, and speaking of which, this was half off of $18, so this was $9. It's 100% wool, has a full zip back. It's just really cute and really unique. And again, it comes with this skinny belt. Um, so yeah, I don't know, I'll probably list this. I can't tell if like, do vintage clothes smell like cat pee here? Or is that just, anyways. Um, yeah, I'll probably list this at 50 to $65. <laughs> I'm not really sure. I think it's just the wool. I think vintage wool just has like that naturally, like not great smell. Anyways, we'll probably list this at $50 to $60. And then last on this rack is this really cute C by Chloe silk crepe cream peasant blouse. Like a pirate blouse, actually. It's got these huge ruffle sleeves, large ruffle bib with drawstrings, and it's just really cute. This retailed for, I think, $4.25. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get this listed at like $100 or so, maybe 150, I don't know. Um, but it's super current, again, like with this whole prairie revival that's going on right now. Um, this is one of the most popular styles of the season, so I think that I can probably get a good return on it. I can't tell if that's makeup or not, I might have to wash it. Um, but yeah, it's just really cute, and I bought it based off of style and designer, so. What next is this Eileen Fisher rust brown crepe Pretty much new with tags. I mean, again, I don't know what to do. Like that's, I mean, like you would remove that if you wore it, right? So pretty much never been worn, almost new with tags. Um, crepe jumpsuit from Eileen Fisher. It's a size extra large. It's got these wide leg culotte uh, cut uh, legs and this stretchy waistband with drawstrings. Um, and this piece retailed for $300 online. Um, I didn't see any comps, but I feel comfortable listing this at like 175 or so. I was thinking 200, but I think 175 would be fair. Um, and then see if any offers come in for it. Anyways, it's very cute and it's a great size, so I picked it up. Up next is this really cute uh, green Zara piece that was half off um, and is also new with tags. It retailed for $70. It's a size extra large, which is a great size to sell. Um, and it's this long sleeve, like puff sleeve with the raw ruffle hem um, jumpsuit with these, again, very wide leg, um, culotte, I'm not doing a very good job of showing this, but a wide leg culotte level length. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll probably list this at $50. It's a great size. It's a really cute style like this for Christmas or New Year's would be so cute, a great holiday color. Um, so yeah, I paid uh, $9 for it, so. This is Gal Meets Glam. This is, okay, you can't even see. This is Gal Meets Glam. <gasps> Dang it. Um, so this is Gal Meets Glam. It is the Cecily dress. It's this really beautiful, like just vintage floral inspired fabric. Look at the embroider on the sleeves, it's so pretty. Um, V-neck with a elastic smocked waist and pockets. It's about it's like midi level length and it's a size extra large. I paid $16.50 for it at Crossroads and it probably retailed for $200. So I sold, I've sold two Galmates Glam dresses already. Um, I think I sold both of them for about $135, which is a great 
price and got me a great return on my investment. Um, this dress I'm probably going to list at uh, $125. I didn't see too many comps for it and especially in this size. So I think $125 is a fair price and I think it'll get picked up soon. So. Okay, so next up, I am not going to be able to show this in fall, but this is a Yumi Kim New With Tags from Anthropology um, Maxi Gown Dress. So there we go, Yumi Kim. And it's New With Tags. It retailed for $270 at Anthropology. And I paid $37.50 for it at Crossroads Trading. And this is the Full Bloom Wrap Maxi Gown Dress and it is absolutely beautiful. It is a perfect bridesmaid dress, and I expect an incredible return on this because I think bridesmaid dresses do really well on Poshmark um, from what I've seen. So I went ahead and listed this at 250 because um, it is sold out online. It's such a beautiful dress. I'll have to post a photo of it. Um, yeah, and I expect it to do really well. Um, yeah, it's so pretty. Okay, so this is a dress by Madewell. And this was also on the 75% off rack. So this was probably about $4 because it was originally $18.50. And it's this really pretty kind of like column sheath dress with the square neckline and crossover back straps. And it's about midi length. It's got um, split got a split hem and it's really pretty it's a size six and yeah I think that this will do really well the colors are beautiful it's perfect for the warm summer months that we're heading into um, perfect as like a wedding guest dress for church anything semi-formal um, so I think I'll probably list this I have no idea I have not I have not looked at comps but I think that I'll probably list this at like 50 to 75 This is another 75% off sale. This was listed at $28, so I believe I paid seven for it. This is T by Alexander Wang, and it is a maxi dress that is very confusing. Um, it, it's very asymmetrical, like it's cut like this. I, yeah, it, <laughs> it like leans left. Um, so it's very confusing. I assume that it must just like ruche up on the side or something, but it's floor length. It's like this really cool heather gray knit fabric. Um, I have no idea how much to sell this for. I haven't looked up comps yet. I haven't been able to find comps yet because I haven't been able, been able to find the style of dress. Um, but it's a size small. I will prob it probably retailed for like 200 or so. So I'm probably just gonna go ahead and list it at like 65 or so. Maybe 85. 65 to 85. And then next is this really beautiful peachy light knit maxi dress by Meet the Label. Um, this is new with tags from Anthropology, and it retailed for $140. Um, I picked it up for $18 at Crossroads. Um, yeah, it's just a really beautiful neutral nude peachy blush toned color, which is very popular right now. Um, Make the Label does like a lot of like very comfy lounge leisure clothes. Um, so yeah, I hope that this will do well. Perfect for summer. I'll probably list it at 100, maybe 85 to 100. Let's see how it does. And I'm saving the best for last. This was my favorite piece that I found. This is a 100% linen crossover jumpsuit from number six, which is mostly, I didn't even know that they did clothes because they're mostly known for um, the clogs. But here is the label, if you can kind of see it. It's the number, it's number six store, wear in good health. And this was $37. Um, and it's new without tags. It's never been worn. It's in perfect condition. And uh, yeah, it's just a maxi jumpsuit with wide legs and a belt that's included. This is so cute. I believe it's a size medium. Otherwise, I'd be keeping it for myself. But yeah, this probably retailed for probably $400 or so. So I'm probably going to list this at like $250. Um, it's beautiful. So, 
very cute. So that concludes the haul for today. I'm so excited to get back out there, get back in the field, get back to business. Um, and I uh, can't wait till my favorite Goodwills open up because that's just gonna be a total price shock when I'm seeing clothing that is like, when I bring my cost of goods back down to like five to $10 instead of like 20 to 30. Anyways, I hope that you guys are well. I hope that you're wearing your mask. I hope that you're keeping a six foot distance, keeping yourself and others safe, keeping those hands clean. Um, yeah, things are, things are kind of looking up. So anyways, take care and I'll see you next time. Bye.